seem to think like you in this are proposing a sort of what, what white kids mm -hmm. get, right? And we are like, you know, we got to be tough on the kids. They should respect their parents. They should know their place. And, you know, some of the things you're talking about, I could hear some people saying like, it sounds real white. And you're like, no, actually, beating a black child is the whitest thing you can do <clears throat> to destroy them intellectually. Say it again. <laughs> beating a black child is the whitest thing that you can do to destroy um, them psychologically, spiritually, emotionally, and physiologically. So, what I talk about in my book, Spare the Kids, is I go back 2,000 years of history, back to antiquity in Europe where uh, corporal punishment, this ritualistic violence against children, was born. And, in Europe. In Europe. And there are white guys who wrote books about this. So, you know, when black women say this kind of stuff, nobody believes us. But I got the bibliography. <laughs> <laughs> it says a bunch of white dudes wrote this before I was even born. And they've tracked all of this violence against children in Europe. Europeans never respected their own kids. They were absolutely brutal and barbaric with their own kids. It's all there. They didn't even recognize that children were biologically distinct until around, you know, the 17th you know, century. They needed like a whole whole age of enlightenment to bring them into that awareness. You see it in and their they art. Had children working. They had children working. Children were enslaved in Europe. Uh, they were, you know, you had this sort of religious ideology about kids being little demons. Yeah, and that wasn't part of many indigenous cultures thinking about children, including pre-colonial West Africans. So this... What was it in pre-colonial West Africa? So in pre-colonial West African cultures, there were, you know, uh, children were regarded um, as having led deeply spiritual lives before they got here. They chose their parents. They were magical. They were mystical. They were not property. The bang people, for example, would never put a baby on the floor because that was disrespectful to a god because children were considered gods. You think about the naming practices like Babatunde, father has returned. Yetatunde, mother has returned. You would never hit a child because you could drive away their spirit guides. To hit a child was to diminish you as the adults. And so uh, they were just, so the Middle Passage experience, colonization, indoctrination into Christianity changed our language about children, our ideologies about children. And so um, in the enslavement process, we uh, ended up internalizing some very Eurocentric ideas about children. Do you see data 